Hello and welcome back for part two of our playthrough of Assassin's Creed 3. As we set sail on the Atlantic Ocean, yo ho ho and a bottle of rum and all that good stuff. You gotta love the graphics on this, they look so beautiful and pristine. And here is our main character writing in his journal, I would appear. Some fresh air might do me good. The tight quarters and the men singing probably drive him crazy. Tis time for some fresh air, matey. Arr, and a bottle of ale would do you seem good too. A moment to talk. Ah, a fellow Londoner. Good to see I'm not the only man of means aboard. Rupert Martin, pleased to meet you. Indeed. I'm Kenway. Pleasure. Seems we picked an excellent time to leave the city. Oh? You didn't hear about the murder at the Opera House? Nope. No. What happened? They're still trying to sort it all out. And I suspect they'll be at it for a good long while. You don't say. No word on the moat. They've ruled out robbery. Eh? So perhaps it was a business arrangement gone sour. Or something more personal, more lurid. Who knows? But I am glad to be away from it. The city grows more dangerous by the day. How terrible. I suppose these things do happen. Anybody else who's up for a quick chat? What about this guy? He looks like he's bored. Good morning, Doctor. To you as well. A question, if I may. Do you serve aboard the ship, or are you simply taking passage? <laughs> a bit of both, actually. Yeah, really. I've been commissioned by the Royal Navy <laughs> to study maritime illness. I'll be observing the crew during the journey. We have found that uh, sailors fare far better on the open seas than the rest of us. I wonder why. I discover why that is. <laughs> well, I hope you are successful in your endeavors. <laughs> As do I. Thank you for the kind words. Oh, wow, they're born and very special. Why would sailors fare better on open seas than normal people? Hmm. It is a very tricky one. You have to figure out how that... Do some research on that. Many, many a years. Indeed. Okay, so let's get moving, shall we? We have to be up topside for some fresh air. Look at these like, nice sporting chaps over and here. And then all will be well. Are you sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. No, you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. Uh-oh. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. <laughs> so I thought. And yet here you are. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. Oh, here we go. He That's wants... Stay out of this. You want the little fisticuffs? Fisticuffs! Come on, have at it then, bro. Come at me. Come at me, Vandal. Before I punch you. Alright, back, I say. Okay, I'm parrying your blow. I'm blocking anyway. Stop trying to go after me. Get out of here, you weasel. Stop it. Hey, would you stop it? I'm blocking your blows. Okay, we've gotten to the point now where we've blocked plenty of blows. Now can we get something more useful? Alright, come on now. Alright, come on. We've done this now. We've danced enough. Alright. Let's get out of here. There we go. Just holding E.
Now punch. A little fisticuffs now, along with some headbutting. So you want some of me too, huh? Come on. Have a one to the face. Oh, he parried me. Good D. How you like them apples? Oh, right in the nuts. That one had to have hurt. What is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. Yes, you should be, good chap. Hey, like them apples. Nut shot. Chopped to the back of the head. Do you yield? Never! <sighs> oh, look at this guy. He's mad now. Come on, come at me, bro. Disarmament! What's the meaning of this? Captain! Captain! Explain yourself at once, Mr. Kenway! These thought we were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. Yes. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. Something like that. A word, please, Mr. Kenway? I have a few words, as a matter of fact. Oh, I nearly forgot. Have your toy back. There's your knife back. <coughs> Alright, Captain, your crew is deplorable. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Well, he's blunt. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. <laughs> Call it like it is. I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I <laughs> cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? Very good point you have, sir. If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? You look a little scared, sir. I'll be taking that. Good day. I said good day. So is there any more exploring we could do around here? Does the captain want to talk? Or maybe this guy who's painting one? Do you, would, do you have words? Maybe he doesn't. Let's go topside. Who up here has words? Ah! The boatman. Or the Hello, sir. guy who steers the boat. Do you expect we'll have a pleasant crossing? It is a quiet time of year, though rogue storms and troubled waters are not unheard of. But no need to fret. At worst, they'll prove an inconvenience. I'm more concerned about pirates and rogue privateers. Arr. I've encountered them before. Aye. But the Providence is a strong ship, and her crew well trained. They will surely keep us safe. Tis be weary of the pirates. Alright, so is there anything else we can pretty much check out around here? Anything else going on? We got an arrow going this way, which means, yeah, nothing else is happening. Very nice, beautiful graphics, just simply beautiful, I love it. Anyway, back down below. Let's go ahead and take a quick break from all this high seas action above here. Down below. There we go. Okay, they're over there playing the games. What else do we have going on around here? Back to my quarters. What a beautiful medallion. I think I'll stare here and just... Go by the map. Whatever. 
read his journal and look at the map and do all kinds of fun stuff with it. Ugh, okay. Too much staring at the map and book for me. Oh, there's the music. Something's abound. Something is abound. Day 28, Atlantic Ocean. Tempers have grown short. People have become very weary. Captain! Mr. Kenway. Captain? Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. I'd best get to work. Seems like it's that time. Let's see what these weasels got going. Looks like somebody over here wants to talk. He's got our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned. Oh yeah. Speak, weasel. You looking for another fight? That it? Biscuits. Go away. <laughs> Dud had your rear handed to you once, huh? Don't feel like going through it again? Smart man. Indeed. No, I'm not playing a game with you. I will, however, speak with somebody. You. Quite the base thing you gave Graves and Quill. Wasn't by choice. Basted them like a turkey. I, blockheads, the both of them. Where are my manners? Louis Mills. Pleased to meet you. Atham Kenway. So, should I be watching my back? I think the boys learned their lesson. That they're normally not so nasty. Honest, it's just the past few crossings have been a bit rough. Oh? You don't say. Captain's trying to cut costs, reduce rations, lower wages, more dangerous cargo. It's put the crew on edge. Is there cause for concern, then? Not if I can help it. But the captain needs to think about the way he treats his men. Hmm, something very suspicious about you. Can't place my finger on it, but pretty sure you're not right. Okay, looks like those men are having some fun. Maybe not right, but whatever. I got nothing to say to you. Looks like you had your face a little roughed up too many times. Stay off the ale, son. You're looking terrible. All right, so let's go see what these guys are up to. You there? I have some questions for you. That's nice, but I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. Okay, so be it. Let's go check out one or the other. Which one is closer? Might be the doctor at this point. Or, I think it's the cook. Let's go chat the cook up. He might know something. Won't be serving for another couple hours. Some biscuits in the barrel if you're desperate. If you're desperate. <laughs> Actually, I've come with a question. What's that? Have any of the men been acting strange recently? Said anything that struck you as out of the ordinary? The boys cry about the rations, as if there's anything I can do about it. But beyond that, I ain't heard much. My advice? Go find James. His ears are always open. And where might I find him? Right behind you, actually. He's the one sitting on the barrel. Makes it easier. Alright, James. Let's see if you can't squeal like a pig. Are you James? Hi. Atham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Really? Follow me. Okay. So what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? 
All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk him down, but there's only so much one man can do. Really? Thank you for the information. Hmm. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. Something's very suspicious. That guy's almost too perfect. There's something going on with that guy, really. With everything going on, he seems too innocent. What do we have going, sir. boatman? How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Say care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Sounds like something's going on in the dark. Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? Someone's doing something here. I think we better go investigate. What the? Why are they throwing cargo overboard? Okay, so it's not him. Let's go down and see what's going on here. Why is barrels randomly being thrown off the ship? Let, go down. I said, go down. Right, we don't go to those quarters. Eagle Vision says what? Eagle Vision says we got something here. What the heck? What kind of clue is this? A little bit of paint, perhaps? Interesting. Why are those barrels in the water? Curious. Indeed. Most curious. Curiouser and curiouser. What else is left? Oh, I guess we could go back. Then we got one more person down here to speak to. Maybe they know something. I intend to speak with you no matter what. Okay, that's the games guy. Hmm. the base thing you gave Graves and Quill. Wasn't by choice. Well, we've done been through you. Aye. Blockheads, the both of them. Where am I? Yeah, whatever. We've done spoken with you. So you're the only one left to talk? Okay, then we're done here. Let's go back to the quarters and try to figure out what's going on around here. Quarters. I'm gonna have to write this one down in the journal. Something fishy going on in boat. Details later. Day 33. Well, it's not too far down the road. Tempers growing shorter. People getting highly agitated. Something amiss. Simply stunning graphics. I love it. What do we have Any news? going on? Each night's the same. I scout one area, and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it. Ship sighted aft! She's making ready to fire! Son of a bee! Feet to quarters, men! Ready the... Brace! Everybody down! Looks like somebody who's trailing us finally found us. A warning shot. Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead. Man the cannons. Make ready to fight. I want you below decks. Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your cabin. Or do I need to have you escorted? Wow. Okay, well, I guess we should go back below. The hatch. Hey, Tim. Have you 
You've been topside. You. A ship's appeared and means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. Doesn't make sense. What are you doing down ah, below? But it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the opera? That we wouldn't notice? That we wouldn't follow? Oh. So that's what this is about. Interesting. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Uh. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? Yep, quite. On guard, sir. Arm yourself and we'll do this deal. Let's go, Jan Weasel. Touche. Touche. Oh, you're terrible. That was it, one hit and he's dead? I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? You'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. <laughs> I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. Then I will. All right. All right. You don't have a choice in this matter, boatman. Into the storm we go. Later that day. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Well, watching this makes me want to be seasick. I'll fix your sail for you. All right, let's go fix that sail for the captain before he pops a capillary. All right, secure that sail. Tie that rope. Ready the whatever. It's just a little wet out here, just a little. All will be well soon enough. All right, let's get running. We must go ahead and secure another one. All right, hold steady, man. We've got this. Not a problem. Just another spring rain, that's all. We'll be perfectly fine. Where's the rope to be steady? Here we go. Steady the rope. Circle, cross, knot, and pull. That's it. That'll do the trick. Indeed. Oh, crap. Well, we got a problem. Over the rail. Let's go ahead and secure this rope. Must secure rope. There we go. We need more speed. Loose the sails out the line. Hey, you take the foremast. James, to the mainmast with you. All right, let's go to the foremast. Undo the foremast. Climb the sails. Arm the mizzen mast. Batten down the hatches. Somebody batten down the hatches like that guy said. Let's get over here. Hurry, 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 and swipe. Just don't look down. Nice. Oh, crap. That didn't go well. Holy crap. Alright, hold on there, stranger. I'm on my way. I'm gonna slowly get up there. Jump! And jump! Jump again! <laughs> and as for the other boat, what about them? And it looks like they're going the same way. 
So much for the treacherous boat. Atlantic Ocean, day 72. Now things really are going south. The ship is a wreck. People are miserable. The crew looks sated. And our hero is examining stuff. What? I don't know. Even he's a little tired. Anything going on? We got, what? Seagulls. At least you can hear seagulls anyway. Okay, get back out of here. Go up, out and around. And let's see what's going on here. It's just a little foggy out here. Holy crap. Make ready for our arrival, men! Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. The captain knows best. Alright, let's climb the crow's nest and we'll see. Okay, so here's the crow's nest. Not... Get up there. You didn't go down there for... Here's the crow's nest. Let's get a climbing. Nice. Okay, just keep on moving. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Hustle and climb. Hustle and climb. Going to the tallest point in the whole boat. There we go. We're getting there almost to the crow's nest. Just a little bit further and bingo. What do we have ahead? Land ho! Beautiful. Very beautiful indeed. A whole new land. A whole new adventure. Sequence 1, Journey to the New World. Mission complete. Full synchronization. Good stuff indeed.